Okay, my friend, thank you for coming to Turkey. Thank you for finding us. Uh, we learned a lot of from, from your case. Uh, surprisingly, uh, we couldn't understand that you had this big veins before the operation when I do examination in the standing up position. First, I thought it was not a big varicocele. Then you said, please look again in the laying down position and we find big vessels. Then, surprisingly, in the operation, I found more than I expected. So, how was your story? What was the difference? What's your uh, symptoms? Please tell me, please. So, doctor, it's been about three years of being in a lot of pain and uh, going back and forth to the doctors and uh, they basically first saw a left side where you could see and all they said was the oils, moderate, painkillers, antibiotics that kept carrying on for like a year or so and then obviously this the symptoms would obviously calm down and then I would basically be okay for a bit but then boom the pain would start again lower abdominal pain pain down there it was just constant for two three years where I got so fed up I even ended up in hospital they were like oh yeah you've got a right side as well now so it was like okay where's the right side going come from so it was just constant pain constant pain where I got to a point where I went into depression yeah the quality of life just went downhill yeah. I was depressed I was obviously the people in the UK understand my language I was very ratty with people yeah. um, I we, was we didn't understand it but like, <laughs> this is something that I understand yeah. um, I was always ratty with people yeah. snapping at people and my whole person is angry like, yeah. angry like something nervous something. my whole yeah my whole personality just totally yeah. changed yeah and I would think to myself what's going on and I was always constantly in dull pain or pain all the time. There was days when there was dull pain and there was days where I was in constant pain. But no one would understand me. So I started doing my research. I thought, you know what? I need the quality of my life back. I need to get to the bottom of this. So this is where you came in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to you. You understood yeah. my symptoms the lower back pain, the lower abdominal pain, the tiredness, the fatigue, the pain in the scrotum. And we, we obviously talked for a bit back and forth. I asked you a lot of questions. How was the, uh, your uh, recommendations of urologists over there? Why they didn't understand or why didn't they offer this treatment? To be honest with you, uh, the NHS in the UK are totally useless. The people who are suffering with this, this disease as well, I'll call it a disease, very possibly it's a disease. The people who are suffering, they will know that the NHS don't care. And I'm saying this, they do not care. You will go in, the very procedure is there yes. to see. Yes. The urologist will see it. Yes. Oh, it's moderate, there you go, antibiotics. Boom, there you go, see you back. Yeah. And you're like, what? And it really affects people who are married, who are in a relationship. Yeah. It really affects them. Yes. And I had just had enough of going to these doctors every day. I mean, I would go to my doctor and he would just look at me thinking, oh, he's back again. So you go a couple of times and take their advices, right? I didn't go a couple of times, I went a hundred times. Oh, really? <laughs> Honestly, they would just look at me thinking, oh, he's back again. Yeah. So this is where I found you. Yeah. We communicated. Yeah, actually, in normal conventional varicose surgery, there's a vein and it's causing the problems. So in the operation, we ligate this vein, the vein is still there. So the problems still continues after the procedure. How many months until this vein disappears? So because of that, this, this may take three months, this may take six, maybe one year, or maybe it will not disappear and this will be called recurrence. So roughly, maybe at six months, still half of the patients have this vein inside and they have the symptoms, pain, throbbing, everything. So doctors say there is only 50% guarantee for pain. Actually, it is, it's not true because uh, the, the success rate of conventional varicocele is 70%. This pain will go after one year, but waiting one year with the vein inside, with the pain, nobody is understanding this situation correctly. When I remove the vein totally, just after the operation, things change. Mm -hmm. Can you say 
Do you feel some changes after the procedure? Honestly speaking, hand on heart, um, as soon as the operation was done, um, the next day when I got discharged from the hospital, I came back. Even on the way coming to the hotel, life felt so beautiful, honestly. You know, I was, there was no more pain. I was looking around. Life felt so, it felt so beautiful. I feel so relaxed. This is extreme, my brother. This is what happens to everyone, really. Honestly, I, yeah. I feel, honestly, you can see by my face. Yes, I, I know. You are really and, and, uh, did, looking really brighter. Yeah. Nice, uh, mean, your eyes are shining different. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but, of course, uh, so ten. Uh, I feel much more relaxed. Yeah. I mean, the surroundings, I mean, the country, mashallah, is very beautiful here. But it just, everything just looks so nice. I feel so relaxed in my legs. I just feel so What did you have in your legs? Other the, garments? What happened is, I was getting a lot of throbbing in my feet, throbbing in my legs, in my thighs especially, and throbbing in my bum as well. Yeah. So, to be honest with you, I did. I did do a lot of research, but I, I think varicose didn't cause that. But now I believe yeah. that varicose did cause this. Yes, yes. Definitely. And you said that to me. I said, okay, it's possible. There is a possibility to for varicose to cause all of these. But you know, additionally, we we uh, improved a new technique or a new method to to get rid of these symptoms better. What's that? I believe varicose makes an increase in pressure in the scrotum and the ceramic next to it there is spam channel so varicose veins when they the pressure is high around the spam channel is also affected and this inflammation happening in the spam channel travels back to prostate mm -hmm. and this prostate also gets inflamed because sometimes the patient has left-sided varicose cell, or right-sided leg pain, bottom pain, back pain, such things. What are these? And erectile problems yes. in the uh, sexual life. Okay, varicose cell is affecting sexual life, but if the inflammation goes to prostate, things change more, become worse. So in every case, we also search if there is also additional prostate inflammation. After the procedure, when the procedure is finished. We make an examination from rectum to see if and press, squeeze the prostate to see if there is any, any inflammation. And in your case, fluid came out from prostate. This means prostatic secretion. This means prostatic inflammation. Why it happened? Prostatitis, in your case, why? I think it is because of the varicose cell again. Or maybe some other reasons, like getting cold, getting inflammation in the prostate. Possible, we have reasons of prostatitis. So I love to treat both of them together because in the past, when I had varicose cells, such symptoms, I treated them. Maybe 80% was very happy, still 20%. They said our symptoms didn't improve. Or in the first weeks, they used antibiotics because of the varicose cell surgery. They felt better. Two weeks later, deteriorated. So I understand because I know they don't have varicose anymore in the doctor. Uh, then I understand this may be related to prostate. So I also do prostate examination in the operation. And maybe in your case, I believe 20% of your symptoms may be related to this inflammation. How we will understand what's the percentage of your uh, prostate inflammation, if it is present, by your symptoms. Mm -hmm. I hope it will, they will never come back again because we drained the prostate now and we will give some medications for this too and we will hope they will never come back again. But after three months, for example, if you have some signs, symptoms, this may be related to prostate mm -hmm. and it may need another drainage which you have to come again and we can drain the prostate for example for three days to do prostate massage prostate training and it will be over i hope it will never be less necessary necessary for you but if it happens we will finish this by that way again uh, for these three months you will be relaxed happy no problem but you in a, you will have question mark if something begins remember 
it may be prosthetic inflammation, filling of the prostate. I will ask you that. What I like about the prostate massage, when you did the prostate massage, you made a video and you actually showed me. You know, the drops are coming out, yeah. there's a bit of jelly coming out. You yeah. didn't just say, oh yeah, you've got prostate infection yeah. or whatever, no, nothing like that. Yes. The proof is there, you showed yes. me the proof. Yeah. And uh, all I want to say to the people in England or America is, well, the people in England is that um, the NHS, they're just going to mess you about. Yeah. So the best thing to do is pick that phone up, get in touch with Dr. Janine, and just take it from there. Um, coming here is very easy. So tell me about it. How did you manage it? So basically, if you can remember, I messaged you two weeks and I said, Doctor, yeah. I will be coming this day and I will be leaving this day. First, we made an online consultation, right? Yeah. With you. Yes, we Maybe did. months before. Yes. Maybe three months, yeah. four months before. Because this online con consultation is important. Right. You paid for it, but it is necessary. Yeah. You can solve the most important problem of your life with simple texting. That's it. What should I do? to see my prostate, uh, see my uh, sperm result. This is my Doppler result. Now, please make a comment, do I need operation? Bismillah, my brother. <laughs> this needs some conversation. I have to understand you. When you came here, I was like knowing you, uh, family with you yeah. like 10 years. Yes. Because we speak to each other. So we made an online consultation. You told me your story. I said, what can I do? then it takes some time, we did another conversation. Uh, it was a own paid consultation, but I asked you, do you think this worth paying this price for the consultation and what you said? Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, Dr. Janet himself, he listens and you know, he takes his time talking to you. He's not like rush, 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 and okay, see you, bye. You give your patients the time and all I want to say is to people is speak to Dr. Janet. I mean, send your reports or whatever. Come see him. It's not far. Book your, book your time off. Come see Dr. Janet and take it from there. Uh, how many days do you recommend for people to stay here? Um, for me, I'm here for seven because I have friends here as well. Yeah. But I'd say five, six is enough. Yeah, five, six is enough, I think. So flying, I usually say fly Sunday and meet me Monday. Yeah. We can do the procedure Monday afternoon or Tuesday. Yeah. Then uh, Friday or now it is Thursday. Yeah. The control is it, then we can send you back home. Yeah. So it's it's really enough. We have, we have real experience on that, no problems. Yeah, thank you again for coming. Uh, really, I, we are grateful. It's honor for us to have you here uh, and yeah and it's good to to have these instant responses I mean, it's unbelievable yeah, it's not like this in every patient <laughs> it usually takes times maybe three weeks six weeks to get rid of these pains in some patients sometimes instantly when you get rid of this you feel this uh, change in your yeah, body I, dr Janet, honestly you're a, you're a lifesaver for me honestly i was in a very very dark hole, depressed, and you have, mashallah, given me the quality of my life back. Honestly, mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. And all, and I always, all also would like to say, people in the UK have a little doubt. Oh, I'm going to Turkey. Yeah. Or if this, or if that. Sure. If they need to speak to me, yeah. you can be my number. Thank friend. you. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, like, really. Um, I, I think I mean, there will be a little too much people want it. <laughs> they will want to speak to you. But uh, thank you very much. It's really important for us. Yeah, uh, we are doing it. It's not new for us. Yeah. Uh, last year, I operated uh, more than 100, actually 120 cases till now, from the beginning of January till now, from abroad. In all cases, like I also operate in other cystitis, like should, mainly cystitis and varicocele. So this is, uh, we know how to do it. It's manageable, it is doable. Thank you very much for coming. No here. Thank you very much.